Hey everyone, today we unbox and review the newest edition from Prime One Studios and Blitzway, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. Welcome to the Collector's Table. If this is your first time here, my name is Adam, and on this channel, we do unboxings and reviews of high-end statue collectibles. If those kinds of things interest you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Once we hit 100 subscribers, I'm gonna pick a random comment in this video or any one of my videos I made so far, and that lucky person will be the winner of the 110 scale Sauron statue by Iron Studios. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the art box. And as you can see, you got Jon Snow on this side. It's a close up of him. He's got his, I think it's called the Long Claw Sword, um, made of Valyrian steel. And it's a close up of him. It almost looks like a photograph of like the actual actor. On the side, You have the Iron Throne. And on the back there, you have the entire statue. Picture of the entire statue. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy out of the box. And here's what it looks like in the box. The throne and the actual base itself are one piece and then Jon Snow comes as a separate piece there. And here's the bottom of the base, 283 out of 900. Looks pretty good. Here's what the Iron Throne looks like, since you could display just the throne itself if you decide. So starting down here with the base, you could see that you got some really cool gold designs going around the entirety of the base. Uh, really cool shapes that they put together there, these diamond type, hexagon type shapes that they all kind of piece and link together to come up with an intricate design. Um, I think it really makes the piece look classic and royal-like. Uh, gives it like a royal-like feel. The top of the base here, you can see that it's got some really good texture work. You can see it's got some really nice coloring to make the stone look even more realistic. You can see the bottom of the Iron Throne where it meets the stone, kind of fused all these blades and different swords and daggers together from all the battles that they have won in the past to make up the Iron Throne. And you can kind of see how they've melted that all together to make what starts the base of the Iron Throne itself. Moving up the throne, uh, you have some really nice texture work and detail work. Now, the color uh, on my camera is looking a little bit better than it is actually in person. In person, it looks a little bit more, I don't want to say plasticky, but it's got a higher gloss to it. Uh, you could see that on camera, but the color, the coloring is a little different in person. It's darker in person, so it kind of gets a little lost in itself with the different blades and then all the darker colors on camera. It just looks a little bit lighter. Still looks good doesn't look bad I would say I, I wouldn't say that it makes or breaks the piece but it's something to point out um, that you might not like when you actually see it in person but I think it still commands a really good presence to be a pro and some more swords and different blades that make up the top of the throne you can see the different handles and intricacies of the handles again 
all forged together from the different enemies that they have defeated over the different battles that they've been in. All right, let's start getting Jon Snow on the throne. His sword just keys in under his hands there. And here is Jon Snow on the Iron Throne. His boots look crazy good with the different folds and textures and line work like it's been worn out and worn over the last couple years. Great job with that. Moving on to the rest of his attire, you can see the different types of mixed media and animal fur that make up his cape, along with the realistic type leather elements and fabric elements to make up his pants. Looks really good. So here's Jon Snow on the throne, holding Longclaw in his hands. The portrait looks just like the actor. Uh, the hair looks great. The fur adds to it and it gives it a very royal look. The bracers with the metal studs and all the details, the folds in the leather with his gloves, great work by Prime One. So I took the cape off so I can share with you guys a little bit more of the details that you can see in his body armor and the battle damage, along with, again, more buckles that look, I mean, they look very real, but just wanted to show you the good job that Prime One and Blitzway did with the detail work on his attire. Came out really good. So overall, I think the piece is very well done. The things I like about the piece, I like the cape. I typically don't like mixed media in my, in my pieces, but I do like it in this one. I think it was done well, especially the fur or the animal fur that they put at the top and on the side there. I think it makes it look very realistic. I also think that the base with the details and the gold was done very well. Also his attire, um, the leather-like material that they made it appear like it's real leather. Um, it looks very realistic down to his boots. Uh, his body damage or the body armor damage that he has on the plate on his chest looks really good. Uh, his long claw sword with his pose and his determined look on his face uh, came out very well. I think the portrait is a 10 out of 10 as far as the likeness that it looks, I mean, it looks just like the actor himself. Uh, it's almost like he walked right off your television from the show and sat on this throne on the table, which is really cool. Um, so Jon Snow turned out really good. I like the way Jon Snow turned out. Now the throne, if we were looking at the throne, it's almost because it's really two pieces that came together. Um, the throne could have been done a little bit better. I think that it was a little too dark on the dark side, so it's hard to see some of the intricate details. Now I know it was a little darker on the show, but when you're seeing it in real life, I, I feel like it kind of just everything kind of blended too well together and it was hard to see the details in something that's supposed to be such an iconic um, throne piece. But that's nitpicking. I still really like it. It's just hard to see some of the details. Like I said, the lighting is a little bit different when you see it on the camera. It actually looks a lot lighter on camera. I wish it looked like that in person. Um, it's usually the opposite that happens. But in this case, I still like the piece. I'm glad I bought it. I also bought the Night King. Um, as you can see right here on the screen, I, I bought the Night King to companion with this piece. I think it's going to look awesome with them right next to each other, especially the face-off that they had in the show. So before we head out, guys, I just want to remind you about the drawing that we're doing for the channel. Being a new channel, we're on our road to 100 subscribers. I think we're about halfway there right now. And I want to show my appreciation to you guys by giving you this Sauron statue. So all you need to do is hit the like button, 
subscribe to the channel. And the most important part is to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you're subscribed and you leave a comment, I'm gonna pick a random comment from this video or any of the videos I've done so far. And that lucky winner will win the 110 scale Sauron statue by Iron Studios. So I will be doing a review on this piece here uh, soon. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. And uh, again, guys, I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel and watching another review. And if you're new here, I also appreciate you giving me the time to go over this awesome statue. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.